<laughs> What's it like actually working together, raising children, trying to be creative, and then, I don't know, at six o'clock going, OK, then we have to stop writing, do other stuff. How's that? Yes, you answer that. <laughs> Go on, answer that. Next question. <laughs> Please welcome to the Super Show stage the gorgeous married couple, Fiona and Mike. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, so we need some help from you guys to give us some, some song ideas for our show, yeah? Train. Great suggestion, sir. I nice one. I did not hear anyone say train. Yeah, he said train. Well, he's yeah, a bad they man. They sing, hey, soul sister, please, radio. Please, please, please stop. What? Well, he thinks we have bad taste in music, I don't obviously. think you have bad taste. It's shit house. Shit house, no. <laughs> yeah, well, why do you insist on date night? You put Lionel Richie on to try and get me in the mood. Lionel so... Richie is an icon and he moves me. But the problem there is that by the time I get to the bedroom, you're usually crying. So? Well, you shouldn't be crying before sex. Well, it's better than after or during. Oh, it's usually during. Come on. To be honest. You can just bust out some rhymes. You know, you could do <laughs> is one that now. your sort of early onset arthritis rap you're busting out there? <laughs> I can't do a rap. Why Fiona? not? Well, for starters, Fiona, there's a distinct lack of fat beats. Oh, okay. So I can't with the. Break it down, vanilla slice. Oh. All music is my life and I'm a man who likes his words When it comes to busting rhymes I don't do things by thirds I use the English language like the king of the nerds All you other MCs are just trying to polish turds While you dance around the stage like one of the fucking thunderbirds On heroin or like a heroin Some crazy psychedelic man playing a theromine Boom! The roof lifts off this place Boom! Boom! Got my guns when I punch it in the face It worked for Chris Brown when he beat up Rihanna I'm gonna up the stage hit my lady with a spanner Hit my with the. I'm gonna with the. I'm. I reckon we should do a Lionel Richie song in the show. Damn right you do. Oh yeah, good. Hey, uh, I'm gonna have the. He'll have the rabbit and I'll have the salmon. Thank you. And can we get a side of those I'll chunky? Put a garden salad on the side and I'll have another merlot, thanks. Oh, two please. Just water's fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> Move to the other side. What are the great things and the bonuses so many. Of, of working? Okay, talking to me now, Fiona, Sorry, my sorry. time. <laughs> There's that gay thing. Yeah, you saw yeah. it comes out of it. is serving your time, which is great. Um, there are advantages, you know, uh, last night I was up pretty late and I was like working on working on the song that I'm going to do for you guys a yes. bit soon and, and working on some stuff for the show and then you sort of climb into bed and it's late and you're exhausted and your head hits, hits the pillow and then you hear, in that scene in the third act, <laughs> do uh, let's talk about that during business hours. <laughs> had the small clutch bag that you take to the Lokis as a lady and um, couldn't fit the pump in there so <laughs> ended up with the um, in the toilet cubicle with the strapless dress pulled down and just <laughs> melted <laughs> straight into the bowl so I made the room really dark I put down the blinds and um, they came knocking on the door and I said yes Anyway, they came, I opened the door, I said, oh, hello, little girls, come in, come in. And I kept talking, you could see my three-year-old sort of going, it's really dark in here. <laughs> anyway, I led them through the room, come in, yes. Open the wardrobe door, shoved them in, and, uh, <laughs> and then went, <laughs> oh. um, My three-year-old we'll just never be the same. bolted <laughs> out of the room, sobbing, <laughs> screaming. My husband had to pick her up, try and comfort her. Oh, no. My seven-year-old said, Mum, that was pretty freaky. Oh. <laughs> and I had my husband holding her, just going, nice. <laughs> now, usually around this time of year, we start talking about the Christmas nativity play. And oh, this... tomorrow, I'm really glad you've brought this up. Now, as the only Sunvale parent present here, I want you all to know that I've been thinking about this all Amazing. year. Um, actually, all right, how I... about a mixed religion nativity play? Mixed religion? Yeah, well, like instead of instead of sheep, you have Ganesha, the Hindu elephant, with gifts on all of his four hands. Yeah, and instead of instead of Joseph, Mary's husband can be the prophet Muhammad. Yeah, I mean, who gives a shit about Joseph anyway? You know, it's not like he actually did anything, did he? Um, Craig, what I was actually about to say is that I've decided not to go ahead with the nativity play this year. What? You got the perfect show. 
for the sisters and the mothers, but you better lift your game for the fathers and the brothers. <laughs> Come on, circle, what you doing for the fellas watching out there? Eat ice cream in their underwear. <laughs> Yeah, you got your Hollywood gossip, you got your weight loss fads. But what you doing for all of those stay-at-home dads? You got your genie bra with its extra special pads. But what you got for the humans who are packing the nads? Come on, Mary Ann, when you gonna sell me some sort of genie jocks that give me lift and give me shape? With no need for a pair of socks. And then for the fellas, you bring out Colin Lane. If you think you've got us fooled, well, you must be insane. I mean, it must have taken you so long to find the closest thing to woman in all of mankind. <laughs> no, <I need> <laughs>